ever wondered what it would be like to have bionic powers? In 1974, a TV series called The Six Million Dollar Man explored just that. Starring a classic Hollywood actor, this show captured the imagination of viewers worldwide. Remember the first time you tuned in? Whether it was the sound of the iconic bionic noise or the awe-inspiring feats of our bionic hero, it left a lasting impression. Speaking of the cast, who was your favorite classic Hollywood actor in the series? The show boasted a lineup of talented individuals, each contributing to the success of this sci-fi gem. As you keep watching, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. From funny moments that will have you in stitches to shocking twists that will leave you on the edge of your seat, and even some tear-jerking scenes, this series has it all. Now, here's a question for you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic TV series? We're eager to hear your stories and memories, so don't hesitate to share them in the comments below. So, buckle up for an adventure through the bionic world of the Six Million Dollar Man and stay tuned for more surprises. Your journey down memory lane is just beginning. In the 1970s, an innovative TV series introduced the idea of a cyborg before the Terminator came along. The story follows Steve Austin, a test pilot, an astronaut who has a bad crash, losing an arm, both legs, and an eye. Oscar Goldman and Dr. Rudy Wells, a top bionic surgeon, step in with $6 million to replace Steve's lost body parts and train him to use them. After the surgery, Steve becomes a special problem solver for the government, with enhanced speed and strength from his mechanical parts. The series shows Steve facing different enemies like aliens, robots, spies, and even a semi-intelligent primate called Bigfoot. It became very popular and led to a successful spin-off, The Bionic Woman. Despite the limited special effects and 1970s style, the series is still interesting. Though it shows its age, it's a great show for viewers of all ages, offering a nostalgic trip into the past. The show is a big part of many people's childhoods and is a great example of quality family time. People still want to watch this classic, but it's hard to find a DVD copy, especially in the United States where it's not as available as in the UK. The fact that the complete series is not on DVD in its home country raises questions. Fans in the US hope for a release that lets them enjoy the whole series. In summary, The Six Million Dollar Man is a timeless classic that left a lasting impression on those who watched it when it first aired. Its popularity spans generations, making it a piece of TV history that everyone should enjoy. The Six Million Dollar Man became famous not just for its interesting story, but also for the memorable characters it introduced. TV Guide even ranked Steve Austin and Jamie Somers as the 19th greatest sci-fi legends. This shows how much people still remember and talk about the series. Interestingly, the show had an unexpected effect on some kids. They liked the idea of bionic enhancements so much that they tried to hurt themselves on purpose, hoping to get bionic parts. This worried the people making the show, and even the main actor, Lee Majors, wrote a letter to one of these kids explaining that the show was just pretend. This strange influence shows how much the series affected its viewers. The character Dr. Rue D. Wells changed during the show. At first, Alan Oppenheimer played the role, but he left after the first and second seasons. Then, Martin E. Brooks took over and stayed for the rest of the series. Oppenheimer came back for one episode in season three, but both actors appeared together because the episode had flashbacks, and the producers thought it was okay without reshooting. These changes in the cast show that the series wanted to keep things consistent even when unexpected things happened. The adjustments behind the scenes fit well into the story, making sure the audience always had a steady experience. The Six Million Dollar Man, besides its interesting stories, faced challenges on and off the screen and left a strong impression on TV. Its mix of science fiction and human drama still connects with people going beyond different generations. Lee Majors, who played the lead role in The Six Million Dollar Man, demonstrated impressive dedication to his character by performing an outstanding 90% of his own stunts. This commitment added authenticity to the series, showcasing the physical demands of portraying a bionic superhero. Towards the end of the show, an attempt to change Steve Austin's appearance by introducing a mustache proved unsuccessful. Despite initial efforts, this alteration did not connect with the audience, leading to a quick abandonment of the idea. Interestingly, this decision came after various commercial tie-ins, including a comic book and a lunchbox, had already featured the modified look. 
Notably, Majors had undergone a rhinoplasty and a change in hairstyle, subtly concealing these personal alterations. The origins of the show can be traced to Cocoa Beach, where Martin Caden, the creator of the character Steve Austin, resided. Caden, author of Cyborg, drew inspiration from a Cocoa Beach physician named Dr. Rudy Wells, who allow with the use of his name in the novel. Dr. Wells, known for his eccentric practice of wearing roller skates while seeing patients, granted Caden this unique permission. In a poignant connection to the series, Caden's ashes were scattered over the Cocoa Beach coastline in 1997, emphasizing his deep connection to the Space Coast area. The Six Million Dollar Man continues to stand out not only for its engaging storyline, but also for the unforgettable characters it introduced. TV Guide recognized Steve Austin and Jamie Somers as the 19th greatest sci-fi legends, confirming the lasting impact of the series. Interestingly, the show had an unexpected influence on some children who, inspired by the idea of bionic enhancements, attempted to harm themselves in the hope of acquiring similar enhancements. This led to a concerned response from Lee Majors, who, in a letter, clarified that the show was purely fictional. A significant transformation occurred behind the scenes as the character of Dr. Rue D. Wells underwent changes in casting. Alan Oppenheimer initially portrayed the role, but departed after the first and second seasons. Martin E. Brooks subsequently took over and remained in the role for the rest of the series. The show adeptly navigated these adjustments, maintaining consistency for the audience even in the face of unexpected casting changes. The Six Million Dollar Man, with its blend of science fiction and human drama, not only faced challenges on and off the screen, but also left a lasting impression on television. Its influence extends beyond different generations, confirming its status as a timeless classic. In the beginning seasons, Steve Austin often joked that his bionic eye ability came from eating lots of carrots. Based on Martin Caden's 1971 novel Cyborg, the show took inspiration from a former U.S. Air Force pilot and NASA, public relations man. The story turned Caden's work into an interesting exploration of bionic enhancements and government missions. The exterior shots showing the OSI headquarters cleverly used the Russell Senate office building, creating a believable backdrop and Washington, D.C. Lee Majors, who played the main role, show with great commitment by doing an impressive 90% of his own stunts. This not only made things more real, but also highlighted the physical challenges of playing a bionic superhero. An attempt to change Steve Austin's look by adding a mustache didn't work towards the end of the show. Despite comic books and lunchboxes featuring the new look, the audience didn't like it. Interestingly, Lee Majors quietly made personal changes like a nose job and a different hairstyle, keeping a consistent look. The series originated in Cocoa Beach, where Martin Caden, the creator of Steve Austin, got inspiration from a local doctor named Dr. Rudy Wells. Dr. Wells, known for wearing roller skates while seeing patients, gave Caden permission to use his name in the novel. This connection became even more special when Caden's ashes were scattered over the Cocoa Beach coastline in 1997, showing his deep ties to the Space Coast area. The Six Million Dollar Man, listed as the 19th greatest sci-fi legends by TV Guide, influenced not just entertainment but also some children's lives. The appeal of bionic enhancements from the show led to a few trying self-harm, prompting a concerned response from Lee Majors, who clarified the fictional nature of the series. Behind-the-scenes casting changes had Alan Oppenheimer and Martin E. Brooks playing Dr. Rudy Wells at different times. These changes, smoothly woven into the storyline, made sure the audience had a consistent experience despite unexpected shifts in the cast. The Six Million Dollar Man remains a classic, leaving a lasting impression on television that passes through generations. Its mix of science fiction and human drama, along with memorable characters and unexpected effects, solidifies its place as a significant part of TV history.